I'm just going to take a quick look now that the chassis is removed from the cabinet before I start work on it. This is interesting. That's quite the adjustment. Ooh. Well, that's kind of neat too. A dual ion trap. <clears throat> I suppose, from what I see, the picture looks pretty weak, but since I have this thing out, I could hook it up to my CRT tester just for fun to see see where it is. Now that's pretty cool for changing channels. Isn't that neat? Huh. Isn't that cool? How neat. Get this out of the way. Huh, I haven't seen it done this way before. That's pretty cool. Super mechanical. Very neat. Here we go. Looks like there's a whole bunch of original stuff under here. Except... I have a hard time telling some of the stuff they had in the 50s is really old now so it looks vintage to me so I think that maybe this, this and this maybe that one may have been replaced I'm not really sure let me see if the camera will, there we go a whole bunch of original wax and paper as far as it has uh, dry electrolytics also so I see one there probably that one those two okay I've got this one out of circuit dry electrolytic 8 microfarad 250 volts let's see how much it can take and there's almost 10 volts Okay, there's 10 volts. <laughs> well, that's very dead. It was named after her late husband, Nicolás Tiarmijo, and served as office space for bank, physicians, and professionals. Jacob Korber, a German immigrant, began as a blacksmith in Old Town. Well, it's getting better. I haven't replaced all the caps yet. But I went after the, all the electrolytics have been replaced and the big waxes, especially the ones that were all cracked have been replaced. Um, I guess I'm gonna go after the small ones next. There are quite a few, uh, there's a bunch of little, little ones I'll have to go after. So I basically went after the big easy ones first. So we'll see if it improves a little more. Okay, so I am making some progress. This is what I've got so far. So it's getting better. So I replaced all the wax capacitors. Um, I did not replace anything in the filter cap cans because it's hard to get to and I don't have any home right now, so maybe down the road. But uh, anyway, the synchronizer section, it didn't want to lock. So I started checking resistors. So the resistors with a little piece of green tape as I, I go through, I'm marking the ones that are out of tolerance. And this is the synchronizer uh, section here. The tube's a little bit weak, but uh, seems to function okay. So I, I substituted in here a little substitution box. So it calls for a thousand ohms, and that's what you get. And if I go down, so I can <laughs> check 
change the shape there, stretch them out. Oh, I need to program to go back to a portrait. See, as I add higher and higher ohms, kind of funny you can <laughs> so anyway thousands what it calls for so I'll go ahead and replace it with it that but it still has some flicker and stuff to it so I'm gonna check all the resistors in here which is gonna take me a day or two to do and um, Hopefully it'll get a little better each time.